Hello everyone, today I am going to solve the fourth problem of let code weekly contest 293 which is count integers in intervals. So uh, we are given a stream of intervals. Uh, so we have to do two types of operation. One is add. So we have to add an interval in the set of intervals. You can check it. And another inter another operation is count. So we have to find uh, the count of different integers present in the interval. So for let's say for this case, uh, let's say take this case only. So first uh, we are given two three. The first interval comes two three. So we have to add two three. Then uh, we have to add, I think, 7, 10. Add 7, 10. And uh, now there will be a count operation. For count, so the, the different uh, integers present in these two intervals is now the interval list will be 2, 3 and 7, 10. So the different integers present is 2, 3. There is two integers here and 7, 8, 9, 10, 4 integers here. So count will be 6. And then next uh, we have another operation add 5 comma 8 so when we add 5 comma 8 you can check this this 5 8 will be merged to this one so and now the interval list will be 2 3 and 5 10 and the and at the end there is another count operation so for count uh, the different number of integers is 2 3 so I think it is 2 and 5 to 10 5 6 7 8 9 10 which is 6 so 2 plus 6 8 so uh, here is the answer now uh, let's check how can we solve this problem so uh, for finding I have solved similar kind of problem so one is March intervals you can find it in uh, lead code only and I have also found uh, during the contest uh, another uh, similar problem uh, which is on lead code only I will give the link of this problem uh, this is a problem from Facebook interview stream of unsorted intervals I will give the link of this problem you can check it out so uh, now uh, let's go back into our solution. So how we can solve this problem? So uh, you can check out is that uh, we can maintain this uh, type of list, uh, this type of set where uh, the set of uh, like unmerged intervals, like no, non uh, overlapping intervals. So it's the first is two three and second is seven ten. So now if another intervals comes uh, like four to six, then you can check out is that the interval uh, these two intervals will be merged now the new interval will be 2 to 10 okay that is different from merge intervals problem because in merge interval problems of uh, like uh, interval is continuous but here the interval is discrete because you have to find the count of distinct integers uh, so when 4 to 6 comes we have to merge these two so uh, what is happening is that we have to find let's say 4 is present here so uh, this is a set so uh, let's say this is a set ai and bi so and uh, ai less than equals to bi and another thing is that uh, let's say another thing is ai plus one and bi plus one so as this is a discrete interval so if there is two intervals like 1 to 13 and another is 14 to 16 as I have said, it is a discrete interval, so we have to merge these two things, and the new interval will become 1 to 16. So, what is another observation is that bi plus 1 should be less than bi, bi plus 1. Okay, so uh, this could be 15 only. So, if 1, 13, 14, 16 are two intervals, then we can merge these two. So this is the condition for ai comma bi and ai plus b uh, ai plus one and bi plus one in the set i hope you understand understood what i am trying to say mm, so let me raise this <sighs> now <clears throat> for uh, let's say our current uh, list is two three and seven ten and, and now another interval came five to six now we have to do something about this so what we will do we will try to find what is the uh, lower bound of 5 in the like l, l values okay so lower bound of 5 is 7 here so i will try to merge 5 with this 7 comma 10 okay so after merging this it will become 2 3 and 5 10 so this is very simpler uh, we have to check something which is more complex uh, to get uh, our idea is uh, right on wrong. so let's say um, let me write it let's say 1 to 13 15 to 9 uh, let's say 27 and uh, 29 to 38 
and 41 to 46 let's say another interval comes uh, these are now another interval comes which is let's say um, 14 to 36 okay now when we try to get uh, what is the upper bound of 14 in the ID we will get what we will get 15 now let's say uh, let's say we do it manually what will be our answer now uh, so our answer will be let's man do manually so 113 15 27 and 29 38 will get merged so it will be 1 to 38 and 41 to 46 uh, so let's check uh, how we can do this okay how we can do this with our algorithm so when we get uh, like uh, when we get the lower bound of 14 here we get 15 okay now we have to check is that if there is an previous interval interval previous to this one and the left value of this interval is less than equal greater than equals to so let's say our current index is i so uh, let's say our set is s so s i minus 1 if s i minus 1 and 1 the right value is greater than equal to our current left uh, which is let's say this is l and r is given to us so if s i minus 1 1 greater than equals to left minus 1 so which uh, this satisfies the condition because uh, 13 greater than equal to uh, this, this is uh, i think si minus 1 is 13 so 13 greater than equals to 14 minus 1 which is 13 so this condition is satisfied now we have to march this and this okay so this interval is our starting interval now okay now we will move uh, decrement the value of i so if this condition is satisfied we will do this now this is our starting interval else our starting interval is this okay so i think uh, you may get confused uh, what i am trying to say is that let me erase this so first i will try to find what what could be our starting interval by finding out the lower bound of l okay so this is i now if this condition is satisfied if i greater than greater than zero obviously because if uh, i is pointing to this then uh, no point of checking uh, the previous interval of this because there is no previous interval so if uh, our current starting interval is this and if this condition is satisfied then i will move our i from from this to this okay so our starting interval is this now now we will traverse through the list we will traverse through the list and i will try to find what is the maximum number of intervals we can march so let's say our starting interval is this i so our uh, current tail is uh, our current tail is uh, so i think we are given 14 to 36 so our current tail is 14 and current r is 36 so when we traverse to the interval when will we stop what will be our st uh, like stopping condition our stopping condition will be when our current let's say our index is i so if s i 0 greater than r plus 1 then uh, it i will stop because let's say uh, let's say our r value is 40 then we can't stop because when we go to 40 40 and 41 will get marched so this interval will also get marched okay so when s i 0 greater than r plus 1 uh, we will stop okay now uh, at every index what will we do i will take l uh, l will be equals to minimum of l comma si0 and r will be maximum of r comma si1 okay i hope you got it and uh, after uh, and uh, when we uh, go through one interval and merge it uh, and uh, after the operation we will delete the interval so this interval will get deleted then this interval will get deleted and then this interval will get deleted and we will also uh, like carry a value which is total which is sum you can check you can take so sum so when we are deleting an interval we will do r minus l plus 1 let's say this is 13 minus 1 plus 1 which is i think 13 uh, will get deleted from sum sum minus 13 and uh, when we are deleting this interval then 27 minus 15 minus 1 which is i think 13 again so 13 will again get deleted and 29 38 minus 29 minus 1 which will be 10 so 10 will be get deleted so 13 13 minus 10 will get deleted so total 36 uh, will get deleted 
and at the end uh, our value of l will be at final or l will be what l will be 1 because we are taking minimum of 1 and 14 so l will be for uh, 1 and our r will be 38 so r will be 38 and at the end we are pushing 38 minus 1 plus 1 which is 38 so our final answer will be what 46 minus 41 minus 1 this will be 6 and 38 44 so our final interval list will be 1 to 38 which will contain 38 different number of in, uh, integers and 41 to 46 which will contain 6 different number of integers so our answer will be 44 okay now i will show you my code uh, i hope you will get it hmm. so uh, if the size of the set is 0 so we are inserting r minus l plus 1 i have already told and inserting l and r as so the total will be sum uh, here what we are doing is this sum will be total and uh, if the length of the set is 0 then we are just inserting the l and r in our answer else i will try to find the lower bound of l minus 1 comma minus 1 uh, for iterating over set like for finding lower bound over set we can do this minus 1 kind of thing now if it not equal to s dot begin what i have told is that if it not equals to s dot begin so our current uh, pointer is not pointing to the first element of the set then i have to check the previous element of the set also if star u1 so what i have already told is that this condition star u so this is star u uh, star u1 greater than equals to l minus 1 we are just decrementing the value of the pointer and for uh, we are pointing uh, we are traversing while it is the end of the list or or there is a condition is i0 greater than r plus 1 so star it0 uh, less than equals to r plus 1 this is the reverse of this condition so when this is the condition we will break so when this uh, condition is met we are traversing the list and uh, we are decrementing the value of star it1 minus it0 plus 1 i have also told here we are decrementing the value 13 here and uh, l equals to minimum of l comma u0 and r equal to maximum of r comma u1 and at the end we are erasing it from the uh, set and at the end we are inserting l and r and incrementing the value of uh, total by r minus l plus 1 so this is the code uh, if you got this uh, article from um, the code please go through over it i will uh, like put the link of it in the description box please check uh, this is uh, something different from the from the current question but you will get something more uh, to learn and also solve merge interval problems if you have not solved this kind of problem before so uh, hope you have got this explanation please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you